Hello YouTube and welcome to What The Math. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is a game that came out on August 6th in 2015 and it's actually a very interesting sandbox game that mixes a lot of really good games that I really like. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what this is all about just when we start a new game. So when you start a new game there's uh, three different modes, creative, empty which basically has nothing in there, creative mode and survival mode. I'm gonna start with survival just to show you what uh, it plays like in the beginning so let's just uh, start a simple server and here we are we basically are a survivor of a, um, a spacecraft crash and essentially this is our little pod that doesn't actually have any fuel or I think it actually is broken so it doesn't really work so our goal is to essentially survive on this planet now the cool thing about this game is that it combines elements from games like let me just show it to you there we go games like Minecraft so you can actually dig you can actually collect things you can build things uh, you can collect materials and then refine them and construct various modules and the thing is uh, the module construction uh, works very very cool it's it's very similar to games like space engineers where you can here, let me just see if I can I can show you what this means uh, you can essentially just take these out and I think it's uh, I can't really take this out individually like right but anyway, so you can take out these modules and you can actually attach them to the spaceship and you can construct various uh, um, spaceships, you can construct various buildings, you can deconstruct everything as well, like you can pretty much break down everything on this planet. Uh, and you can of course hunt and kill things and people, well not people, uh, I don't think there's people unless you play in multiplayer, but there's definitely things around to kill. Uh, there's also nighttime where things get a little bit dangerous. Uh, in, in survival mode, that means you, you either have to hide inside your spaceship or construct some sort of a, a defensive bunker or something where you can hide. And I'm going to show you um, what this is pointing toward. This is actually showing me that there's a, a deposit of some sort that I can collect. Uh, there is also other things like temperature here. There's uh, stamina, food, health, and oxygen. So yes, you can die from hunger. You can die from uh, lack of oxygen. And what is this? It's a cactus. Oh, cool. Uh, so let's reach the... Ooh, what's that? What is that? And and this is actually... This is a huge, huge place. This this area is... Uh, if you look at the map here, it's a planet that is, you know, it's spherical. And I just walked from here to here. And then basically you can walk all across the planet. It's, it's a spherical planet, so you would actually reach the same place where you started walking which is pretty awesome I, it's, it's the first time i've seen it, anything like this in a, in a game um of, in a survival game where you basically you have planets now the reason why there is planets what is that thing is that gonna attack me you're gonna attack me i haven't seen these things before ah you didn't attack me uh that thing is gonna attack me though that's probably a scorpion isn't it which is why i have a rifle but i don't have enough ammo unfortunately excuse me where are you there you are these things usually come out at night, but I guess they also come out in the morning sometimes. Uh, so that's an arachnid, and I have killed it. I collected its meat, which I can then eat. Anyway, so we are here from, for Prometheum. Uh, Prometheum mine is somewhere right here. Now your drill does have charge as well, that has to be recharged later. And you can see the area here is very, very beautiful. This is a gorgeous game. Uh, it combines the best of many survival games. Uh, this right there in, in the distance that you see, that's another um, spaceship crash, spacecraft, spaceship, whatever. Uh, and this is also a kind of a dungeon, so once you approach it, you'll get attacked by various robots, uh, so you do have to come in prepared, but there's a lot of rewards if you actually manage to survive. Uh, am I getting anything? No, oh no, this is like inside. Uh, let's make a tunnel. Ah, I'm falling. Help me. No, don't fall. All right, I'm not doing so well. Eh. Ah, anyway, you get the idea. So basically, this is how you dig. Uh, you can mine things, you can collect various materials and then refine them. And essentially, what your job is here in the survival um, uh, part of the game is to survive. Uh, you're basically trying to build up the spaceship, uh, get some fuel and get off this planet. Uh, there's another tower right there. I think that's another dungeon and um, The mission here at least in the beginning is to basically escape now once you escape it. It gets really awesome Can I kill this thing? 
in the butt. Oh, I can't. No more bullets left. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I even tried. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't shoot it with, like, one bullet left, because they would probably kill me. Um, now, this is what happens when you actually get to the spaceship. So, you can actually control spaceships in this game, and this is the brilliant part of this, of this game. So, it's actually, it's kind of like, imagine someone took Minecraft and combined it with uh, Space Engineers and... I don't want to say Kerbo Space Program because this game doesn't really have realistic physics, but possibly even Kerbo Space Program. So this is what happens here when your spaceship starts flying. I'm going to actually start the, um, uh, the creative mode. And here we go. This is a creative mode where you, you kind of have a, an outpost that's already been built up for you. That it does have some defenses. And this is all basically buildable. You can essentially construct all of this. Uh, so you can construct various, uh, what is this, constructors. That construct even more things. You can construct. Um, this is a, what is this? Fuel packs. Uh, I believe this is actually some sort of um, an uh, energy source, and this is probably some sort of a energy producer. I don't really know the details. I haven't played this game long enough. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of really cool things. This is your oxygen. This is where you store your uh, your your air resources, basically. Now. All of this is buildable, but the best part is, is, of course, that spaceship that was outside. So, this is a fully functional spaceship that is manually built uh, and is, of course, absolutely awesome. So, you get in into the spaceship and all you have to do is turn it on. I believe it's... Uh, oh, okay, that's I, that changed my view. Never mind, the wrong button. I forgot what... There you go, Y button. So, once you turn it on, you'll see there's a power usage on um, in the bottom right. Now, this has boosters, and it also has weapons. Weapons, you say? Yes, weapons. So, let, let me show you what, what I mean by weapons. Let's uh, get up a little bit and start firing. Oh, man, I'm using the wrong spaceship. That's that's what's happening here. That's why it doesn't fly. I'm trying to figure out why it doesn't fly, because it's a speeder. It doesn't actually have any boosters. This is the wrong vehicle. Okay, forget about this one. This is what I was looking for. It's actually upstairs. Can I, can I possibly fly? Yeah, jetpack. Take me up. I'm using my jetpack right now, even though it doesn't actually show here. Uh, here we go. D that is what I was looking for. R as Booba. That is the ship I was looking for. Okay, so now we have weapons, and now we have everything. So this is essentially why the game is brilliant. You can fly around, and you can shoot and destroy things just like in uh, in space engineers so this game has a completely destructible uh, environment there's everything that you build and everything that you see can be destroyed and there's a variety of weapons to do so so I actually have rockets right here which I'm gonna use right now oh look at that explosion let's actually destroy that s silly lens speeder that we don't really need anymore and uh, the beautiful part about this game is that it is quite realistic, oh I almost fell, uh, in a sense that uh, there, there's quite a lot of physics in it, it just doesn't have as much physics as in Kerbal Space Program, but it does have, uh, you know, gravity, it does have, um, like things will roll down if you, um, if you drop them, you know, roll down the hill, and the coolest part is about to to come up. You're basically, because you're on the planet, you can actually go in, into the atmosphere and then escape it. Now the thing is, unlike Kerbal Space Program, this doesn't really have um, similar realistic effects. It, you just you just kind of have to go up. It's, so if you've ever played old Elite, um, it, it's sort of similar to that. You just kind of, you know, you start flying up and that's it. You're away from the planet. Now this is where it gets super cool. So as soon as you escape this first planet, and this is where it actually beats the space engineers and, you know, games like Minecraft, I guess. And, and the coolest thing is that you can now explore this solar system. So if you click on the map, actually this map doesn't show yet, um, you'll notice that there's other planets and there's also asteroid fields. And this is a pretty awesome planet right there. And there's obviously a star as well. So if you have enough fuel, you can actually start going toward another object. Let's just go toward this planet right here. And you can then land on it and explore, mine, and collect materials that you cannot find anywhere else. So if you're playing this in a survival mode, that's essentially your goal eventually to reach these other planets and to mine them. And in that sense, I think this game is superior to 
almost every other survival game I've played so far. And this is only early access. This is actually very, very early access where they actually even didn't implement that many features yet. Uh, I can't wait for them to add more planets and possibly even other features, um, specifically like, you know, building space stations that orbit around planets and uh, hopefully they'll introduce some really cool um, physics in this game where just like in Kerbal Space Program, you actually have to reach orbital velocity to escape because right now you don't, right now you just kind of, here I'll show you, you just kind of have to approach a planet, it's sort of stationary, doesn't really move anywhere, and your ship kind of just hovers, so the gravity doesn't really work just as realistically yet, but things might change. Stop the spaceship. Turn the engine off. And uh oh, uh oh, we're falling. Oh no. And here we go. Okay, that's a safe enough landing. So, this is some sort of a. Oh, look at that, it's just pretty. Some sort of a um, oxygenless place, even though it's pretty hot here. And here, there's almost nothing. There's no animals, there's really absolutely nothing here, except for, of course materials for you to mine so this could be like a mining station or something if you're playing in a survival mode now this does have multiplayer unfortunately it's only ip based right now so you do have to start a server and you have to join servers uh, where, uh, with ip addresses that you know it doesn't have any um servers provided yet so hopefully this 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 will be added in the future version where they'll have a, a server for all of us to join and play together but right now you can start your own and play there now let me show you the other planets so there's actually a, a four planets currently available i guess one of them is not really a planet it's, it's more of a satellite this is where i am right now and there's two planets and one of them is is this lava planet and this planet actually has very unique m minerals on it that you cannot find anywhere else so once you come here you'll be able to uh to collect a specific mineral and you have to be really careful because if you step into the lava, you know what happens. You're probably going to die. Now look at the effects here. This is pretty awesome. And this is, like I said, this is only early alpha. It already has these beautiful lava effects and I'm going to go inside. Yep, you're burning. Get out of the lava. Oh no, I'm burning. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, this doesn't really do anything right now. Also because it's creative mode. Uh, so yeah, this is one of the other planets and this, you know, it looks pretty awesome. Has some really cool effects. Dif oh no, I fell. Different spaceships, uh, different things for, for you to explore and achieve and the map is also very different. Uh, there's an iron deposit right here. And then you have this other planet that is almost the opposite and this is a frozen planet full of ice and other materials that you cannot find anywhere else and also uh, very low gravity and some crazy crazy creatures that will attack you at night um so three planets one satellite and lots and lots of fun so honestly for a game that is cheaper than minecraft and has more to offer than uh, minecraft and space engineers combined i think this is totally worth the purchase i definitely recommend this game to the fans of the genre or possibly teachers that want to explore uh, a combination of Minecraft and Space Engineers in their classrooms. Um, instead of using just one, you can use both. Uh, what I really like about this is that it's it's actively being developed, even though it's in early access, it already has so much to offer. And the survival elements in this game are relatively challenging. It's not an easy game. It's actually very easy to die here. And um, even though it does have things like guns and um, lasers and stuff, it still has this kind of a fantasy uh, element to it in the sense that you don't really know what's happening on the planet, there's a lot of really uh, fantasy-like creatures, uh, I don't want to say fantasy-like, they are sci-fi creatures, but there is something about this game that is kind of like, mysterious and unknown, so you don't really know what's happening and so on and so forth. And lastly, uh, the other, uh, yet another plane where you can actually play is of course right here, and this is in the orbit, so basically oh no i'm falling uh basically you can eventually uh construct something orbiting you know all these planets i mean there's no real orbit it's just kind of like space engineers where you build these spaceships and ba bases that don't really have any gravity um but they look quite nice and they are fully functional so i believe if i actually i didn't i've never tried but if i get into the spaceship right here 
I'm pretty sure that I can fly it. And I want to try this because this is a huge spaceship, something akin to um, objects that you would make in the Space Engineers. Um, and it looks absolutely epic. So let's just get into it and let's try to shoot things down. Look how beautiful this looks. And um, the main difference, of course, from Space Engineers is that you can actually land on those planets. And then you can mine them and get stuff from them and land back here. Now, there's actually a mod in Space Engineers that does give you like a planet uh, to work on. But unfortunately, it's not fully implemented yet. And it's it's a little bit wonky, to be honest. I, I've tried it before. It doesn't work as well as, as it does in this game. Look at the beautiful reflections in, the, in these window thingies. That is awesome. Uh, so, um, where's the entrance? How do I get in? Oh, is that it? I think so. I think that's the entrance. Ah, emergency exit. Okay. Uh, gravity on, and let's get into the, into the, uh, whatchamacallit. You know what I'm talking about, right? The central command center. All right, so it looks like this is it. No, wait, that's not it. What is this? It's a cabin. There's a TV here. That's not what I wanted, even though it looks beautiful. That's not what I wanted. Passenger? Passenger. No, I want a passenger. I want to be the pilot. A wrong place. Okay, I finally found it. So this is actually the cabin. Looks pretty epic. Look how big this place is. And it does have um, other chairs for other passengers. But this is the captain's piloting thingamajig. Awesome. Look at that. We can control the whole spaceship. That is so cool. And look at how many weapons we have. Let's uh, start shooting things. So those meteorites right here have... Oh, it's so slow. I can't even turn it. Uh, these meteorites right here have some some kind of an iron or possibly something else in them. Let's shoot them down. I'm going to try to crash this into the planet before we finish this video because this is probably the best part of the game. Look at that. So cool. Look at those explosions. Okay, let's use everything. All of the weapons. Fire everything we have. Fire missiles. Fire the missile. Alright. So, explosions work, destruction works, and spaceships work really well. So, if you are a fan of games like Space Engineers, and you just generally like space games, um, and you want to build things, and you want to actually construct and survive and uh, live in this uh, awesome sci-fi world uh, full of dangerous creatures and awesome spaceships, definitely give this game a try. I totally, totally love this game. All right, so this needs to be destroyed as well. I kind of wish there was more weapons. Uh, space engineers have one advantage is that there's so many different weapons you can build. Here, uh, still early stages. Oh, explosions. Awesome. Uh, but you know what? I'm not complaining. This is already quite advanced for for early state that it's, that it's in. So definitely a really cool game. All right. Let's go and cr crash this cinema jig into one of the planets. Hopefully I have enough. Oh no, it says, it says I only have five minutes of power left. That's not enough to crash into a planet. But I'm gonna try my best. Oh no, I'm crashing into something else. Uh, oh no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Help me, help me, I'm stuck. Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. Oh no, I ran out of fuel. Okay, so apparently I cannot fly this very far because the fuel just runs out. Ah, well, you know what? I guess maybe we won't get to... Let's see if it recharges actually. Does it recharge? No, power left 0.7 minutes. Yeah, okay. So we're not gonna go that far. We're not gonna be able to make it to that planet, unfortunately. Although that would have been nice. It would have been nice if we could actually crash the spaceship into something. And as I finish this video, I'm going to drive away on my lens speeder into the horizon. And this is going to be the end of this video, and hopefully you enjoyed this. This is a pretty brilliant game. I think this is probably one of the better uh, survival games I've played in 2015, or actually in the past few years. And I'm about to get stuck, aren't I? Yeah, no. Uh, but definitely give this game a try. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's only $17, but it's kind of original, it's kind of unique, and it does have some really cool features. If you like Space Engineers, and if you like Minecraft or other survival games where crafting and food and survival is important, this is probably something that you may want to try. It does have different planets to land on, it does have lots of things to dig, and there's a lot of monsters to kill as well. 
Anywho, thank you for watching. This has been What the Math and game you later, guys. Bye bye.